Hey, welcome to the channel. Today, I am standing on the Natchez Trace Parkway. Natchez Trace Parkway. And what we're doing is, once again, we are living or camping on the Natchez Trace Parkway. And we're gonna bring you a walkthrough review of the campground that we are staying at for three days. We've been here before. I don't think we haven't done a walkthrough, but we're gonna do a walkthrough, show you some of the campsites and show you some of the amenities. Basically, a review of the campground here at Rocky Springs. Now, Rocky Springs, if you're coming from Natchez, Mississippi, traveling northbound, it's the first of three campgrounds that are absolutely free on the Natchez Trace Parkway. We absolutely love it. It's unbelievable that it's free. Free, 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 free. But it is. So if you come in here from north traveling south, it's the last of the three on this camp, on the Natchez Trace Parkway. So you can't miss it. Is that mile marker 50 something? I'll put it in the video when I figure out what mile marker it is. Is that? But as you come in here, and we ride motorcycles, and we're gonna let you guys know if we can get here on our motorcycles, you can get here on any, any type of bike. But as you come in here, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna go show you some of the sites, the campsite itself, the restroom, the amenities, starting here. As you come in, this is one of three restrooms there's three restrooms but only one that's operational this one here have never been open as many times as we've been here not once as you can see if you come in here and trying to make a quick pick stop you will actually have to go on a campground to use it see it's actually locked on the other side too and it looked like it would have been a nice restroom it's indoors and have a male lady Okay, we can continue on. Cake is waiting for us a little bit down the road, so she's gonna meet me halfway down the road. I just wanted to come out and show you how easy it is to get into this campground. And as you go through, you can see it's a nice park-like setting. A lot of trees. You coming in, you will run into this sign where you cannot miss it. Historical sites, National Scenic Trail, straight ahead. Campground, hiking, restrooms, as you can see, we turn right, and now we're about to approach the campground. As you come in here, speed limit is 10 miles an hour, and it's a one-way loop going all the way around. So we're gonna go to each site. Well, probably not each site. We'll show you some of the best sites. And if you are here on a motorcycle, remember, what we are riding on? Asphalt. Smooth asphalt. That's exactly. As we approach, we'll see a sign that say campus only after 10 p.m. And on that sign, there's some rules. We're gonna talk about the rules, only basically one, maybe one or two of the rules on that because some people kind of confused of how long you can stay on the trace. I'll cover that rule and then explain it a little bit more when we get there. We're coming up on what would be the camp host campground right there, campsite right there because they have electric box that's locked <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> and you can see this this is one of the pull throughs and this one actually is unkept so we're assuming that they haven't had a campground host here for quite some time right so let's head over here to the rules and i'm going to read basically the rules because it appears that people are confused on how long that you can stay here just read the, the stay. Of course, they got regulations and safety. Well, I say, welcome to Natural Trace Parkway, designed to encourage leisurely explore exploration of the history of the beauty of the old Southwest. Here are a few pointers to me, help make your trip more enjoyable. And they got this, and then campground regulations. So I'm just gonna go over one right quick. Camping here is absolutely Free, 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 our favorite word. <laughs> and it says, maximum length of stay, 14 days, not to exceed 30 per year. Obviously, a first come, first serve. Now, <laughs> that's the problem with first come, first serve because you better have a backup plan. What time did we get here? Oh, it was after 11 o'clock p.m. We actually pulled in at 11 p.m. Pulling into the campground. A rocky springs <laughs> only part uh about it is it's what 
10, actually 11 o'clock right now. Campers only after 10 p.m. And found us a great camping spot that we're gonna show you because as many times as we've been on any of the campgrounds on the Natchez Trace. So make sure you watch it because we're gonna do a campground playlist including Natchez Trace. Right. We've never, even on weekends, I don't think we've been here on a holiday. I uh, know, never on a holiday. But how many times have we seen any of the campgrounds full, 100% full? Not once. Not once. So as we walk here, let's look at some of the sites. First of, first thing, they aren't numbered. Like we say, they are yep. first come, first serve. So if they were ever full, make sure you have a backup plan. So one, two, well, three, including the host. Well, what I remember there are 18 total. They just aren't numbered. Right. So let's check this one over to our right. We're gonna walk on a, a few of them and talk about if you was in a big rig, how you can fit it because we've seen big rigs here before and never had problems with any overhang, but we're on motorcycles. So <laughs> come and enjoy. This is the first site. Once you pass the campground, let's say host site, and you continue on, it's pretty easy to see. And which way you want to go first, right or left? Because. Uh, <laughs> go to the left. And they are all pulled through on this side. And if you have 10, 12 motorcycles. Now, one thing on the, the thing that I didn't read on the campground rules is Unlike most campgrounds where you can have eight people, they right. say six, and I think two cars, not including your RV, if you're in an RV. But if you're in a motorcycle, I hadn't seen any regulations. You know, you can put like 10 <laughs> on this thing. Now, the campground rules that we read for Rocky Spring, it goes for all three campgrounds. So 14 days means you only could be at a particular campground for 14 days. So if you go seven here, seven at the next one, seven at the third one, that's 21 days. And then you have nine days remaining that you can go to another campground or, or 14 three. at three, a time. Three, three, 10 at each site. Yeah, we do 10 days at each site. And that will give you 30 days, but you can't do more than 14 days per site. So like Cake said, 10 days at each site, but that's 30 days in a calendar year. So I don't know how they check. We have seen park rangers coming around and everything, but we don't have no idea how they actually check to find out maybe they write your place down, but we haven't seen that for the most part. No. So some people probably can live out here if they go from site to site. Okay, well at the, each campsite, you have a table, a fire ring with a grill on it, and a standalone barbecue grill on that. Now, we got to mention that not all of them have the stand-up grill. Right. Where we are now, there is no stand-up grill. You guys going to see our site, and you know we got a pull behind motorcycle Aspen Classic Campbell, and it's beautiful. We stand here, I think five days, this is all our second day here, and when we stay somewhere like three or more days, we just set it up like the comforts of homes. So let's go to a couple of more sites. Here's another campsite that has it just a pull in back in, however you want to call it. It's not a pull through. But there you go. Here's one example where it's only a table and a fire ring. There's no standalone barbecue grill here. And it's pretty short. So if you're in a long RV, this for more, I think, would be vans, vans, cars, motorcycles. Yes. Now, the greatest thing about this is if you're a tent camper, obviously you can use every single one. Right. And won't have a problem. Even if you're an RV, you can use every single one because obviously you're not going to put a tent out over here. Here's one next to it that's pretty short. We're going to go down yeah. here and we're going to kind of go around that side and then catch this side later. And then the restroom is up there. And not too far and in between, there are little boxes. So you can carry it in and then you can just toss what you don't want 
or you're not using them anymore in the litter box. And it's animal proof. Yes. So, let me close it. Hold on, that tool might be in here. Nope, just some trash. See, people put their trash in it. Now it's animal proof. Okay, as we come here to this next one, is a long pull through. And look, for RVs, big riggers, look how high the branches are. You don't have to worry about anything. And obviously, if you're an RVer, you can park here. And this looks like this could be a double. Double, exactly. Because I see one, two tables, but only one fireplace. Or somebody created their own fire ring here also. Yeah, this looks like it could be a, a group tent. Yes. So we're gonna continue on and go across where there is back ends next to the restroom. And we're gonna show you the restroom also. But yeah, is, we need to make mention that there's no water hookup for RVs. You know, this is completely dry camping. Yes. However, there are restrooms which Richard take you into. Flush toilets. Flush toilets and running water, but it's not potable. Hey, squirrel. <laughs> and on this side here is two campsites. Right here, back in right there. And then back in here. This one, that table and grill belong to that one with that fire pit. You back into this one, you go back there. You so we, we see this as more of, obviously you can put cars here, but more right. of tent. No big RVs would actually fit in these spots, not in that spot or not. The shadow might not let the camera pick up what we're looking at. But I'm gonna walk through here for a second, kick, and I'll meet you over there. Go ahead. Just to show you guys, if you got a tent, you just park here, your car, or if you're sleeping in your van, that's fine. And then you have free firing. <laughs> so if you got a group, you can take two spot up and have firing and table. That table there is obviously disc repair and firing here. Not a bad spot. And someone actually have a rope set up that you can actually use here. What type of knot they have, let me see. I know my knots. A squiggly goo, which is not a knot because I don't know what they tied there. See they have ropes so you can hang your clothes up. Nice table here. Another stand-up barbecue pit. And there's a little creek that I'm assuming that actually flows in the rainy season. We are here in the middle of the summer, so it's pretty hot and things are pretty dried up right now. And here's the third one. Somebody left their tennis shoes and table. And well. Let me say this campsite is also the closest to the restrooms that's right here in that building right here. Which is one of three, like I mentioned out there, one of three, and it's the only one that's operational. Every time we've been here, it's been extremely clean. And we actually came here one time where they were actually cleaning up and they stopped and let us use it and clean it. However, no showers. So we self-contained, ready to clean yourself with wipes or whatever you use to clean yourself with. Is it clean this morning? Yeah, it's clean. It Smell fresh too. It has three stalls, including a handicap stall. Okay, you see in the ladies, the men is basically the same, except a urinal. I'm not gonna bring you in there, I'm just gonna check to make sure. Yeah, the exact same thing, two urinals. So we're gonna go down here and show you some more of the campsites down in this direction. And if you need supplies, there's a Walmart, not too far. <laughs> <laughs> That's not too far from here. You just ride on out about to Walmart. It's in- 30-ish miles? About 30 miles. It's in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Yes. And then there's other, there are other ones like in Natchez, Mississippi that's close by. That's about, huh, about 40 miles from here. And then Jackson, Mississippi. 
yeah, which Dover. is another. So we're like in the center, close to those big cities. Yeah, so that's the three big ones. So now this, I would say, the one we're about to show you now, because we have to go up a little hill. This one I say is great as a group site, because it seems like there's only one thing that you can back in or pull in or put your car or vehicle in. Uh, not big for big rigs, but enough talk, let's go show you. So this is the main road. If we was turning left and pull into this one, this is how short it is, very short. So if you, in a van, obviously, they're in a van or a camper, stay in a camper. But if you have a tent, then you have to do maybe 30 feet of hiking to bring your tent up here. And what I like about this, it really shows that wilderness feel. You know, you're out in the wilderness and nobody, and you got a little privacy because you're up off the hit place. Um, since we've been coming, I think we only seen maybe one or two people use this area. So watch this. I'm at the top. Extremely flat. So if you got a tent, nice and flat and pretty big. Two tables here, one fire rink that the park provide, and somebody else made their own fire ring here. Look like they have been roasting <laughs> hot dogs. But this is nice. This I really, really like this. The last time Cake and I were here, we wasn't pulling patches. We had our tent, but we didn't use this particular location. And the other location open, I'll show you that where you can put a lot of tents. We didn't use this particular spot up here because someone was here. But that driveway also, you can hike up and go to this section, which is even, it seemed more remote. Look at this, this is beautiful. Obviously, if you like camping, it's beautiful. If it's not, <laughs> a hotel is beautiful. And of course, a separate fire rink here trash yo I know I hate the trash so let me go back down by cake and we're gonna continue this tour now the, the the campground is not very big like I said I think there's only 18 sites but you feel kind of spaced out especially when you get to our area if no one here we've been here for cake how long have we been here three days now three third day I thought it was About the second Thursday. three days and we only seen one other camper. So we're gonna continue on and show you some of the other camps grounds, campsites. Before we get to the next campsite, we're gonna pass by and show you guys the amphitheater, which however is not in use because they don't have the resources to, right. to use it. So it's just, they're just letting me go. Yes, we'll show you that right quick. I'm assuming back in the day, because they got it, you know, times are hard. They don't have enough people, like she said. And we don't see it's getting repaired no times. Actually, well, the first time we see the stairs was fixed. Well, not fixed, yeah. they was usable. So let me go show you the guys this, which goes down to Sand Creek or Little Sand Creek where there's a little river that you cool off in. But look, this, what used to be. We'll go down here for a second, baby. I'll be right back up. Go ahead. And here was the theater area, campfire. I don't see a big campfire rink, so I'm assuming it's not a group campfire spot. And right there, where they used to do their presentation. The trail down here goes to Little Sand Creek and like on a hot summer day, like we are here today, you can go down there and cool off. But we're in the middle of the summer, and for the most part, it's bone dry. And you know, since this is the Natchez Trace Parkway, there are a lot of hiking trails on here. So if you want to hike the trails, then follow the markers. But as you go down here, we're going to go down the main road, and you will see pull over on this side or pull through or have moon, whatever you want to call it. And a campsite on our right also there. 
Somebody's in a camper van with their solar. And speaking of solar, if you're using solar, you're not gonna get much in the morning, but in the evening, in the summer, even kind of in the fall, a lot, a lot. So this pull through, so this pull through is just basically one spot where the van is, look like there's two tables, but one spot, and that's a back end where the van is. And this brings us back out to the main road where we're gonna show you where we camped at, where we had a tent. And we absolutely love that because it's pretty big. And if you're with a group of people, also can be used as a group site. Once again, main road, pull over here. And if you're a big rig or RV, lots of room. And then down here. This is the one we have. This the one? This is the one. Okay, let me go down here for a minute. And obviously a little box. It's where we tent camp. So if we up in Natchez, Mississippi, or the north part of the Natchez Trace, which is in, in Tennessee, our Nashville area, we use it to come down. You, you, you just sit there for all the time. Why pay hotels where you can camp free, if that's your thing? So this is where we camped. And it's pretty big. If you're with a group of bikers and you want to ride the Trace, but don't want to spend a lot of money, here's a spot. You got camp. Now, with patches, we wouldn't pull patches down here. And we coming up on the spot where we are, our favorite spot when we come here. And you'll see that in a second. But it's a long walk, so we'll turn the camera back on when we get to our spot because there's one, two, three, four, I think four things in that area. Let me say this. The location, the campsite where Rich just showed you, that's our favorite for tent camping. Right. But when we have patches with us, we're going to show you the feet. Okay, we are approaching our setup. You guys seen our full setup before. We got two different, well, three different configurations. Yeah. The, just the white shade, the garage out, and all that stuff. But we have the configuration we have right now, we just have our walls up and not the cube itself, even though we have the easy up. And a little further past our spot, we'll show you that also where is a, another restroom that in disrepair, like Cake said also earlier, there aren't any resources here to repair these things. From what we understand, they don't plan on getting them fixed no time soon. We like this one before that, there is one here. So if you're riding, you can back up into here. But there's a problem why we do not use this site and we choose, we choose that one because we can put everything up right here on the asphalt, but the tables are 40 feet, the table and the fire ring 40 feet that way, which is nice. It gives you that wooded feel, look pretty dense of seclusion and solitude, but who wants to walk way down there every time we need to cook? This is why we like our full setup. And of course, between the two sites, Again, a litter box. So this is the main road. And we turn down here, we back up, and that's what we set up. There are a few more we're gonna show you guys that if we didn't have this one, we're gonna choose the next one over. So I'm gonna walk over this way. We're continuing on the main road right here. And it's the site next to ours. Right. This will be one of the sites that we would choose if that one isn't available. Only different is we cannot move the table if we want to. But it's pretty level once you get down to this section here. And this is the one that has the table, a standalone fire pit and grill, and a fire pit. And we even have a rock to sit on if we chose to.
the rocks that I was talking about. We can sit on the rocks if we want to. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, even though that one our favorite, what I like about this one the most is right here. We set up here, there's a barrier between us and the next neighbors over. Right, and there's more trees on this one, blocking that sun. Directly across from this one is a, another one that's extremely short. So if you're in a long RV, you might not want to go this, and we're coming to the end of this in a, in a second, we'll show you guys. But here's another one. And motorcyclists, van, cars, perfect campground. We still have problems believing that the campgrounds on the natural trace is free. Free, 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 free. free. So here's a, a extremely short one. And as we stated earlier, they are not numbered. It's probably the best table in the whole site. Coming to the last one, but before we go to the last one, I'm gonna show you this restroom. So as you can see, it says area closed, but they are stuff growing over there, so it's been closed for quite some time. We have never seen it opened. And as we go around here, oh, peek around the corner. Well, apparently, this is a shoe donation spot. <laughs> 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 and you go around the corner, around the restroom, and we just like the last room, the restroom. They probably have the center as a utility room. And it's just horrible that they not don't have enough resources to reopen these things because if you really want to use a restroom, there's only one location to go to. So let's do these last two. I thought this was the last one. There's two more. Across from the bathroom, which is not operational, is a campsite and it appears to be a group campsite. Oh, it's a pull through and it has one, two, two tables in there. I thought it was three, but apparently there's another campsite no, on look, the other side of this. It's three. One, two, three, but well, that one is not functional. See, fire pit, fire pit, that table, but the ones on that side probably go to that. Go back. to that one. Yes. Okay. All right. I stand and correct. Big RVs. Look, no overhead. That's what this one is for. So let's continue to the last and final one, and then we give our final thoughts on it. So we we're actually in the one that Kate was talking about, can be a group. And once again, remember, they say, I don't know who checked, but they say six people per site. I don't know who's gonna check. We've never been here where it was full. So if you decide to bring six people here and you got 2012 people, <laughs> You can put the rest of your 2012 people at a different spot. So as we coming out, closing the loop, straight ahead is where we started and went in that direction. And here's the last and final campsite on Rocky Springs Campground. Now, if you're just riding through the Natchez Trace, this is a, a great spot, Rocky Springs. Well, all the campgrounds. Obviously, you can see this is a back through, or back end rather, and pretty long, but not extremely long. We would use this site as a last resort. We like the sites where we are, where we can put all our stuff on the asphalt, or it's easy to go down in this area and set up patches. Once again, fire ring, stand up grill, a table that looked like it hadn't been used in a while. All right. But there's a lot of things to do. In fact, when you're here in the summer, well, I wouldn't say late summer, because a lot of the water sources kind of tend to get dried up. But we actually go into Orange Creek. We don't know if it's dried up. There's trickly waterfall to keep you cool with a little pool at the bottom that you can actually just relax in. We've seen people in it before, we just never dip, been in take it. Take a dip. Yes. And then we're gonna finish exploring the trace, even though this is our, I don't know how many times we've been here. We've been here. Quite a few times. <laughs> and so this free, 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 and it's nice. Yes. The real nice is quiet. Mm -hmm. Cause basically, it's only two campers here. 
Yes. At night without the moon? Mm-hmm. You barely can see your hand in front of your face. It's dark. It is dark and quiet. Dark. Now, you will hear some road noise during the daytime because it is a natural, natural park system and people like to explore. But at nighttime, we very seldom hear any vehicles passing at all. And we don't have any, didn't have anyone on this trip passing in the middle of the night. Right. Looking for a camp spot. Right. So it's we seen pretty a, quiet. Yeah, we see. I seen, love it here. We seen one, people, one person come in and out with a pop-up camper, yeah. but they didn't stay here. And the park ranger passed this morning, so there's rangers passing, checking up on you. I don't know if they're checking lights and play to see how long you've been here or not, but they say hi and they're pretty friendly out here. Yeah, they do. And there's a lot of, a lot of rich, rich history on the Natural Trace Parkway. That's all we have for right now. Hope you enjoyed the review of Rocky Spring Campground. We know it was a little long. We just want you guys to see sites that you can think about staring at. And uh, if you're going from Southern Mississippi all the way up to Tennessee, this and want to stay free? Out. Free, 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 this free. Is the place. All this three of them. It. And we're going to have reviews on the other two campgrounds, which we already completed. We just got to edit, and we'll show you those after this one. Yeah, so stay tuned. That's right. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. If you haven't already, subscribe. What she said, subscribe. <laughs> Share. Yep, 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 yep. Anyway, that's all we have for right now. So if you're out riding, remember, Ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. I'm Cake. And we out. Peace. Rocky Springs. Time to eat.